Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Luminosity Mask video, I'll be showing you two different ways to create luminosity masks to control your adjustments inside of Photoshop. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop, take a look at my complete training, and you'll find links for that in the description. Okay, let's get to it. A Photoshop luminosity mask sounds like it's a very tricky thing. It's actually very easy to do, and I'll show you two different ways of getting to this. But let's first describe what it actually is, what actually is a luminosity mask. Now the word mask is in there, so obviously we're talking about the mask side of a layer. Here's our mask right there. Now, as you can see here, it really is just a black and white version of the actual image. Here's a little trick which we'll be looking at in greater detail in one of our techniques. If you hold the Alt key down and you click on the mask, it opens the mask up full screen so you can see what the mask is. And as you can see here, this mask is really just a black and white version of the image. Now what this does is, wherever it's dark, it's going to mask that out. So it's going to mask out our levels control in this case. So there's no levels control back here in the trees at all. And where it's light, it's going to allow some levels adjustments. So it allows you to apply the adjustments based upon the luminosity of the image. We get the luminosity by doing a black and white version. Things that are, are white are bright. Things that are dark or black, of course, don't get any luminosity in there. So we're using a black and white version to control that luminosity. And that's really all that is. Now, what it does for you, let me just show you here. Here it is without the luminosity mask. Here it is with the luminosity mask. And this particular kind of mask here is mostly gray tones, allows us to do most of our controlling in the middle tone of the image. We can keep the darks dark you know, across the top up here and then our trees back there. We can keep our, our lights pretty well controlled and then bring up the values of everything else and really improve the image. It just gives us more control on this. So now that we've done that, let me show you how you do these things. I'm going to actually delete these three layers here. Let's just trash those. There we go. All gone. Here's the original image. Now, if I wanted to just control the values in here, I could bring in a layer adjustment. So here's our adjustment, levels, choose OK, and there we go. Just a plain white mask. Now I can come in and I can increase the mid range here, but notice as I do this, the trees get a little lighter, the sky gets a lot lighter in there. So it's really adjusting a lot more of the image. Everything is kind of adjusting clear across the board like that. You know, there's the lights. I can darken the darks down again, but it kind of blocks our colors up. You see, they're, they're going really kind of strange when you do that. So I want to be able to adjust the midtones in here without affecting the dark range. So let's see how that's done. Let me just pull this out and collapse that. There we are. And let's go back to our layers again, right here. So we have our mask. I'm going to get rid of this mask. Let's just right click on this and delete the layer mask. So it's just the levels right there. There we go. Come back down to the regular layer here and I have the channels open up up above. So our channels open up. Now if you hold the control key down and you click on the RGB layer in here. So control key RGB layer. As you can see what's happened here, it has selected the light areas of your image. So it's made a selection based upon the light areas of the image. We can now come down to our levels and use that selection to make a layer mask. So click on the layer mask button. There's the layer mask based upon those levels. Now notice how the sky has gone darker. Midtones have stayed about the same, but the sky has gone darker. I can disable this, just right click and disable, and there it is without that. Right click and enable, and here it is with. It's protected the dark part of our picture, making the picture look a lot more realistic. We've brightened up our midtones, and we've protected the darker areas so it still looks like a nighttime shot. If I double click on my adjustments in here, you can see I can now have a lot of control in the midtone in here, but the darks are staying nice and dark. They're protected by 
that luminosity mask. Okay, that's the main way, the basic way of making this kind of luminosity mask. And it's just, just really easy as you saw there. Simply add in a whatever control you want to have down here. Go down to your original, click on the RGB layer control click on that. That selects the light parts of the image and then make a layer mask on your adjustment layer. And there you go. Now the other way is a little bit more interesting and it opens up a lot of other possibilities as well. So I'm going to take my original layer here. Let's make a copy of this layer. Bring it down to our new layer button. Here's the copy. Let's convert this to black and white. So image adjustments and right down to black and white. Lots of options in here. We have you know, blue filter, darker. We can really get different kinds of black and white images in here. Now keep in mind where it's black it's going to be blocking out your adjustment. Where it's light it's going to be allowing the adjustment. So this is going to allow adjustment just on very small range of the bright areas with that high contrast. There's an infrared even smaller. Here's a lighter value. Here's a maximum black, maximum white. Here's a neutral density. And you can do a red filter and a yellow. Now these will change depending upon the look of your actual image. Now I kind of like on this one the yellow filter. My sky stays darker but everything else stays about the same. Here's our neutral density again. And then here is the yellow. The main difference here is that the sky is darker on the yellow. So I'm going to use the yellow filter for this and choose OK. So here's my black and white version based upon that yellow filter. All right, now let's copy this. So I'll do a select, and we're going to select all, and then edit and copy. Of course, you can use your keyboard shortcuts for this as well. I'll just keep it here on the screen so it's easy to see. So there's our edit and copy. We can now deselect that, and let's hide this layer. Now here's the fun stuff. Let's come down to our original layer again. Let's put in our adjustment layer right there. We'll do levels. Won't bother with that. I don't need that for this discussion. Here's our adjustment layer right there. Notice that we have a layer mask over here now. Now here's the fun part about this. I'm going to just get this out of our way. If you hold the Alt key down, click on the layer mask, that loads the layer mask full screen. Now the fun part about this is I now can go up here to edit and paste and I can paste the whole black and white image that I just copied into my layer mask. So here's how you put a photograph into your layer mask. It has to be a black and white image. You can't put color into a layer mask. But if you have a black and white image on your clipboard you can just copy your image and then paste it into the layer mask as long as you have the layer mask loaded. Let me show you that one more time. Let's close it down. There we go. To load the layer mask, hold the Alt key down and click on the layer mask thumbnail and that loads in the layer mask. Okay, now that we have that done, let's go back to our adjustments. We can deselect that, deselect, bring our adjustments back up again. Here we are. And now, again, I can control my midtones really nicely in here and the sky is really protected because of the choice that we made when we converted to our black and white. And that's where this is really much more powerful than the standard way of doing your luminosity mask. Standard way, of course, is you just control click on the RGB layer up here and it selects the brightest parts of the image and makes a mask based upon that. And you saw how well that worked out. It's a nice mask, but you can do better. And you can do better here by making a black and white version and then using that black and white version as your layer mask and that allows you to control the kind of black and white version that you want in there giving you this kind of additional control so real nice control nice bright now in here the sky stayed just as dark as before much better now there's more you can do with this if you're not quite happy with this you can adjust your layer mask go back to the alt key click on your layer mask again and now we can adjust this layer mask. Go up here to image, 
adjustments and levels and I can now make this brighter or darker right here I can add in more contrast right there on the dark side I can lighten the light side up so I have complete control now of this layer mask there we go just by controlling and editing this side by loading this in full screen we can then do all of our centered edits right on that and there we go here's our nice cleaned up version let's see how these compare there it is using the regular layer mask technique the regular luminance mask technique this again was one where we hold the control key down and click on the RGB channel and use the selection to create our layer mask and here it is with our new manually made layer mask with more con control and adjustments notice how much richer our image is here how much more contrast we have in here than this version I mean, this is nice it's a nice way to go but this is better this has more contrast our darks are darker we have more control over that based upon having that ability to choose how we want to convert to black and white and then use that for our luminosity mask so there you go two different ways of making luminosity masks finishing off here with my preferred way any other real big tip you should memorize this one hold the alt key down click on your layer mask loads the layer mask full screen allowing you to edit directly on your layer mask very very easily go back to the other side and that goes back to normal view so there you go that's working with Photoshop luminosity masks thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I'm frequently uploading new training videos don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com